Hello everyone, and welcome to Alan's World. And as I say, it's one of those dreaded sort of days we all all of dread. Um, more so as a reseller is moving day. So I've just sold this shed a couple of days ago and um, the person's going to pick it up on Monday, so today is Sunday, so he's wanting this shed emptied. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a little quick montage of me emptying the shed. I've got cameras set up in here and I've also got cameras set up inside the living room, so you can flick, I'm going to flick between the two cameras. Um, you can see roughly the sort of stock I've got. I'm, I'm concentrating on this first part of stock which is going to be unlisted stock. Yeah, so the first part, and then I'll pause it and I'll do a little chat again, and I'll stand Clark's corner on unlisted stock. Because um, the unlisted stock, that's why even the most of it's all boxed up and ready to go straight away. So that's going to be the first lot coming out, and then let's move, move all the shelves, pack all the shelves up, and then I'll get the listed stock out. So enjoy the music, sit back, and have a laugh to see how much stuff comes in. Oh no, I've just found a whole load of bags of Halloween costumes, so this has got to be a priority, let's get this on now, um, and then um, we can carry on that sort of, sort of summer as well. Okay, so quick break. I've just emptied all the all the um well majority about 99% of the unlisted stock out of the shed now. I need a quick tour of what's left and where the stock actually was. Um, I've been trying to work out what my sales have been down for a while because every time I look in the shed, I see so much stock. I think, well, why why am I not selling anything? Um, that's because 90% of my stock probably probably um. 80% of the stuff in this shed was actually unlisted, um, which I did not realise until just now. So it was really, really hit a nail on the head, um, sort of on here, that how quick and how easy it is for us resellers just to hoard stuff and um, keep getting it and getting it and we'll put in more and more stuff. And then, a and bit of fault of my own, I bought so much Lego, I've been building Lego up and up and up and up and doing, doing all that for ages. And the rest of the stuff I've been buying and stuff's been coming in, I just haven't done nothing with it. So I'm going to take you through what's left. I'm going to take you into the living room and show you what's there or what. Here's my data, the stuff I've got to list. Luckily, Christmas is coming up, and I'm going to shift nearly all this very, very quickly, sort of on here. So, a few things which are left. We've got a couple of the old VHSs, a couple of Lego sets, um, sort of on here. Uh, this is some retail arbitrage stuff. Uh, Mars, Mars, and um, I can't remember what it is. It was a TV show. See, um, Disney, Disney, Disney show. Um, I'm not going to say what it was. Um, obviously, not a very good thing because I've had it for over a year and never not sold. Um, we've got an Xbox original. I don't think anything that's listed. I think I might be unlisted. Um, a few little bits and pieces. This is a wedding gift a while ago, which 
it doesn't fit any of our beds, so it's all sitting there. Um, a few board games. Um, this box is actually unlisted, but that is, I just haven't took it inside yet. Um, we've got some left, I've got some Haynes magazines, a bit of Tommy Tippy stuff. I just sold loads of that stuff. Some load of board games, some sealed jigsaws. Um, sort of over here. This is my DVD shelf, so all my DVDs are in here. Uh, and some books at the top, uh, Nerf Gun I'm Fixing. Uh, a few more cookery books, and there's some Playmobil, some more baby stuff. This is all my plushes. Um, bag full of plushes, never VHS there, don't know if that's listed or not. And then, all this was unlisted in these shelves here. There was two lots of shelves here, and that's all unlisted. Um, that's just personal camping gear, um, sort of thing there. These two boxes here, um, they are army surplus, which is listed. Um, there. Some more camping gear. Um, the Nerf guns used to all live under here. So I used to have three boxes. I've only got one box unlisted, broken, need to fix at the moment. Um, we've got some... These are all my retail arbitrage sort of stock. Um, sort of sits in here. At the moment it's Skylanders. We've got Lego which bundles, which is listed in there. We've got my, control, my, my, my controllers, which I fix up listed there um, this is unlisted stock I haven't actually took it in the house yet uh, and then we've got a box of unlisted stuff there a load of stationery and this is this big pile of boxes and bags and packaging sort of stuff which I just pulled out of the shed you can see there's a few more bits and pieces on the floor so um, that's a little tour over there here I'm now going to take you inside the house now to show you what I've got in there okay so this is all the stock um, which you, you can't really, I can't really get a decent picture of it. Um, all the stuff behind me. Um, we talk you through some of the stuff um, what I've got sort of coming through. So at the very back, this is stuff we've had for over nearly two years now, probably. Um, it's just piles and piles of kids' clothes, all sorted, ready to go out. Just haven't had the time to um, list it and iron it and that sort of stuff. We've got some electronics. Um, we've got more clothes just down there. And we've got some connects, some babies' bum diapers, the reusable stuff, cot stuff. Um, load of Harry Potter books, which is just in there. But um, I've just got a haul today, so I'll show you reason. Um, most of that's going to go fairly quickly. Some more board games, lots of lots of board games. I think some of these are incomplete, as well as sitting here. A few decent mugs. Um, that chair has just been listed. So that's been listed. Some computer stuff. There we go. That little um. Milo tub there goes with the nappies which is in there so they will be done out that baby jogger thing is listed with the push chest so they don't worry about that that bag is a baby is a baby carrier that's listed so don't worry about that but a lot of this is just electronics um we've got a whole box somewhere of xbox 360s just unworking ones which i just need to re recondition and put back together again we've got ps4s in here as well we've got a big box of Game um, control pads, which is all down here, from NESs right through to um, Xboxes and that sort of stuff, and some gaming parts. So, and a Hot Wheels set, which is just there, there's a whole video not that long ago actually, still haven't done nothing with it. So, that is all my stock, which I've got over here. I'm now going to uh, move some sheds, uh, move some um, shelves out of there, do a little bit of packaging inside the shed, then I'll remove and rearrange inside the house so I can get the I'm um, probably going to put the unlisted stock into uh, the listed stock into the kitchen area. Um, at the moment, this has got the Death Star and um, Slave One. Yeah, so these are two of my Lego, my personal Lego sets. So we've got the Slave One, which is sitting here, and we've also got the Death Star. So they're they're two of my sets. So nice, nice little sets in there. So I'm going to move some of this sort of stuff around and get some of the listed stock because obviously there's not much stock at all. So I'm going to probably just put it just down on the floor where the cooking room used to be. That'll probably fit in here with a treat actually, and then I'll get the rest of the stock in. So, see you in a few secs. Okay, new battery, let's go. Officers are coming, they're gonna tear your still house down. Well, the first time I seen Don Corey was sitting on the banks of the sea. And a 44 around her body, and a five string on her knee.
got some workers now. It's going to speed up the little process. David, come tell the camera what, what you just told me. Hello. What did you, you just ask me? Tell the camera what you just asked me. Hello. How many pounds would you give me? They would hear that. My own son asked me how many pounds I'm going to give him. <laughs> how many pounds would you give him? Don't you hear them a bluebird singing? Don't you hear that mournful sound? They're preaching, darling, Corey's his funeral. It's some lonesome graveyard town. Dig a hole, dig a hole in the meadow. Dig a hole in the cold, damp ground. Dig a hole, dig a hole in the meadow. And go to lay, darling, Corey down. Go to lay, darling, Corey down. find out later. Off you go. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, if you've got arachnophobia, look away now. But this is something cool that's found. There we go. Where are we? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Look at that bad boy. I'll put my finger in this shot as well. Yeah, you see how big it is compared to my finger. Yeah, look at that. Look. Hello. Whoa. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Look. There he is. What are we going to do? We're going to keep love spotting. I'm going to try and catch him. Right, and then we're going to show it to them. See what they say. Yeah. See what they say. Spider. Spider. It is a spider. Right. right there we go. We're going to try and cup it. We do the old hand cup method, and we'll see if we can grab it. Yeah. So take it over there. Wait. See. Oh, come back. Oh, oh, we dropped him. Oh, come back. Come back. Oh, hey, where you going? Hey, there we go. The old hunting little spider. Here we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Here we go. We got him. Here we go. Look. 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 Where was he? Oh, there he is. I told you it was going to be a little bit of fun. Bye. 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 Okay, so that is the majority of the stuff now. So I'm probably going to cut it all here now that because there's, there's only a little bit of rubbish and that sort of stuff around there. Okay, so I hope that I enjoyed that little video. Um, it's been fun making it. I'm just going to tidy up a few things now, take the shells down, fold them all up, ready for transportation um, back to the new house. And I'd say this shed's going, uh, the little shed, which I moved a, another video a while ago, it's going to my new shed with two sheds in there and a storage locker, so hopefully I'll get all this listed and gone straight away. Uh, sounds like I've got to sort Samuel out, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.